How's it going everybody? Anthony or Deathkiller and a lot of people have been complimenting me on my UI. I will hopefully remember to put a screenshot of what it normally looks like on screen now. Um, and a lot of people have been complimenting on it saying they like it etc and recently someone even asked me to make a video on it and I am totally not using this idea because I don't have a video this week or anything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making an interface video as you can probably tell from the title on how I get my interface the way it is and everything else. Now I do want to add one little preface here is that I did mention it in the video where I first set it up and that was that I did get it from somebody on Reddit. I do not remember for the life of me, uh, what the Reddit thread was, who the user was, or even how much I copied from them. All I saw was they had a very similar layout. To what I had and or very similar they had that layout and then I went and I just basically took that and ran with it now whether or not I copied it verbatim I honestly don't remember but I do remember it was that so anyways without any further ado let me get right into this right away okay so the first thing I like to do when setting up the UI and I've only done this twice to so bear with me is I actually like to go and get the equipment tab set up and the inventory tab set up these are the best two because they will actually help dictate how everything else is going to go. The other thing I like to do is if you notice when you lock the screen, it actually shows this stuff up here. I like to actually go and change this so that the interfaces will not show that. So you go into information windows and I believe if I come down here or not, give me one second to find it actually. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, it was in appearance. So you go to inner, you go to settings, interface, and appearance, and you can actually hide the title bar. So what this does is when you lock it, it removes that title bar. So just like how I have it on on my screen. So when you lock it, it does that. The other thing is you can change the transparency. Now I obviously have it not transparent whatsoever on this account on my accounts. And that's because my game window is completely different. That being said, I do like to keep it at a kind of medium level until I get it done just for the sake of me doing things. So there is that. So let me get out of here. Now, what we want to do with the image, with the equipment tab specifically is we want to make it big enough so that we have our character here. I like to be able to see my character. Now you don't obviously have to do this. And then from here, we want to make each section a little smaller until it's right before the point where it will go and get rid of your character so now we know we can do that so now we're going to move this up a little bit until again right there you go so now we have the point where it'll be as small as possible without removing our character what we want to do with this one is then move our inventory here move it down like this so this way they're matched up and then change the size of our inventory here to be like this move this one over to let me move this that way then move the backpack all the way over to the side here uh Flipping it on whichever way you want and then move this over to here. Now, the reason we have this like this, we can actually make this a little smaller here, which is what we're going to do. Um, but the reason why we have it like this is so in this way, we open up our uh, currency pouch. It will stay. As you can see here, it'll stay. So this way it has the thing over. Now I'm looking over at my template example and it looks like we do have it a little taller. So that's what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make it a little taller up to I believe we want to or is it what just when it's locked let me see here yeah it's just when it's locked okay we're good so this is fine so when it locks it'll actually be bigger and again like I said we can test this just by locking it and you can and you know you can kind of see how it'll function uh, in its section you want it to have that extra row because in case you add more items to this uh, or to the currency pouch you want it to have that second row for utilization purposes okay now the next thing we want to work on is the skills tab quest tab and the familiar tab now we don't have to pull out the familiar tab just yet so i will take out the quest tab and the uh skills tab so unlock the screen that'd be very helpful and this one is super easy super easy what i like to do immediately is move this to be its smallest size here you want it to be as small as possible to be as least intrusive as you possibly can and then from here move this over to here and then we, from here, we want to make this, we want to bring this down and make the height so that it is the smallest it possibly can be while locked to still show everything. So this is about right. We can actually make this a little smaller. So we're going to go and do that just a little bit smaller here. 
like that and then go like this and boom this is about right so this will now be the way we do this so now what we can do from here is move the backpack down and then we can move the equipment inventory down as well and this will be the general height of everything now from here we literally just slide in the quest tab perfectly fine here and then i like to go and open the familiar tab drag this down to here then from here i will also open up the note tab so this way i can get it here um, and I move, well, I like to move the note tab over to here. And then from here, I'm not going to do it on screen, but I'll move. Actually, screw it. I don't know what's on here. Take the friends chat. Okay, there are no friends on this account. And I'll move it over to here. So this way we have it in here. And now from here, I press the L button and it should lock. And this is a good test. Okay, good. So we have a tab and it's still too small. So that means we need to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go and make our adjustment. So we'll unlock it. Move this up a little bit, move this up a little bit, move this up a tiny bit here as well, uh, and this up as well here. And then now we should be able to lock it, and boom, perfect. So now we have all this set up. From here, unlock, and now we can make this match the size. Now, you want to go, and for the ribbon, you just want to go and customize as best you can. If you go over into... Uh, I forget how you change this. I believe it's um, I'm trying to figure it out. Hold on. Edit layout mode. No. Ribbon. Here you go. <laughs> so you go to ribbon and you just go and you can manage the stuff here. I'm not going to do it on this account, but this is why I like to do. This is a room you have working with. So I like to go and mess with these and just have the ones I want but you can go and do that. So there you go, we have all this set up and if we lock it, we, again, we can just see exactly how things are going and it's going pretty well. So now we're gonna unlock this. We have our entire right side basically organized. So let's go and move our mini map and slide it over to here. Now I like to have my time right next to the world map right here. So that's where I like to put it. I know it might be a little intrusive, but I like to put it kind of right there move it over a little bit and then from here we can now do some more fine settings so i'm going to go into edit layout mode here we will do some more stuff but for now let's focus on a couple specific things so i'm going to take the slayer counter i'm actually going to oops sorry i'm going to take the slayer counter um and we want to move it over to here sorry you have to mess around with things a little bit and i want to move my slayer counter to about right here so this way it's right below the run energy bar and it's right here so that's where i like to put that the next thing i like to do is actually take the death status and move this over to the left side as well as do they get rid of the gravestone yeah grave interface right over here so this way they are on my left side i like to have them over here i don't think i've ever really shown this now the next thing i actually want to move is my debuff bar and my buff bar so let's grab these bad boys oh they're already up perfect i like to put my buff bar up here and the debuff bar right next to it right here i don't like to have them kind of stacking on top of each other i like to have them right next to each other like this now there's one more thing I like to do and we will do it later, but it is the, uh, where is it? It's the text. Let me try to find it. Um, actually, you know what? It's easier. Ooh, wait, no cancel. Save. <laughs> Save. There you go. I like to go. Let's just talk to somebody real quick. Uh, Lumbridge Tutor. Yeah, here we go. And we have this. So I like to move this. I like to have it just above everything, but for now we'll move it up here just so we have it out of the way and we'll come back to this later. Now, the next thing we want to do is take this and we're going to start working on our um, action bars and everything else. So the first thing I like to do is take this chat window and kind of make it relatively small for now. We will come back to this later. The biggest thing here is actually settling on your uh, inner is getting your interfaces set up. So let's go do this real quick. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually get the extra action bars here. So I like to go to settings, you go to gameplay, combat, and action bars, click on the action bar tab, come down here, and you'll see these four extra action bars. Now, I only utilize, actually, I do utilize all four. Sorry, I was about to say a lie. And what I like to do is have these as two, three, actually, no, sorry, that was a lie. Sorry, nine, <laughs> ten. Uh, oh, we don't have as many bars on this one, so it would be seven eight nine and ten like this 
Now from here, we actually have to <laughs> move these things. So let's go and move them. So we might have to move some stuff around. So let's grab this familiar thing and move it out of the way. I didn't know this is where they default to. Move these all into the middle. Back over here and throw this back over to here. Now, simply put, we just want to go and drag these and make them into straight lines like so. so you just go and drag them like this. Obviously, make sure you're unlocked while we're doing all this. So all this stuff will actually work. And then from here, I start from the bottom. So we're going to move this one up here. So we're going to take the bottom one, which is number 10. I like to put that in a numerical order. I believe there's a way to actually have more. And from here, I'm basically dictating the size of my chat box. So this is kind of where I want to kind of play around and see. I don't like to have it too big. So this, the, the height doesn't actually matter. What matters to you is the length because the height of your bottom part is always dictated by your action bars in nothing else. So that's why I do that. So from here, I like to have it about this size. I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I would say this is a, a decent size. I, I can You can change the text size here. I like to change it to 14. Um, and I would say this is about right. I mean, I would, actually, I think this is a little small. But that's fine. I think this is this is fine for now. I, I can make it a little bit bigger here like this. And I, I you can play around with it more. But the chat, the, these are the two things kind of dictating everything um, here. Then from there, I then go and grab the number, the next bar up. So number nine. Then we'll grab number eight. Then we'll grab number seven. And finally, we'll grab number one. And this is the height of everything kind of settled in place. Now, obviously speaking... This is not perfectly even to how, or perfectly exact to how I do it normally. Um, if you really wanted to kind of match it exact, you'd put like my game in full screen, take a screenshot and then do an overlay thing and match this up exact. This doesn't matter. I like to just get it to a comfortable pay, a size uh, for me. And so this is perfectly fine. From here, I then want to go and put my ability bars and my prayer uh, up. So we'll grab prayer and we'll actually throw this down here. The size of it does not actually matter. Um, but we do want to go and throw it down here. And then next we want to grab is these spells right here. And you can actually kind of see how these things are going to start flowing a little bit more naturally. So we'll go and put this like this. So you can definitely already see this stuff is a little bit too big. Um, as you can already kind of tell, this stuff is already a little bit too big. So we can move this stuff over probably to about like this, uh, the prayer book. I think we should be fine where it is and we can actually move this over a little bit more if we wanted to and again you can mess with this more if you want to it's not that big of a deal i just like to have it mainly so the ability bar when locked or not the ability bar the abilities when locked aren't actually um you know it's like yeah, i'll show you so it's like this so it's kind of perfectly fine but obviously make this a little bit match up a little bit more here now the prayer can probably be a little bit like that that actually matches better and then from here all we have to do is now grab the attack and range stuff here and health sorry so just throw these in no honestly particular order but i'll put them in order as i usually have them like this then like this and then like this and then we'll move this over to here and this is about right um yeah this is actually a little bit wider so I would probably move this over a little bit because this is a little bit wider. But for the most part, we have it good. And so this is the general outline of my interface acquired. Now I'm going to make some minor adjustments because I do see things are a little bit off center here. So let's go and fix this. The first thing here is the equipment tab. Uh, oops. So we got to do that. So we have to change this stuff to match it. There we go. Get that to match. Throw this down. Make this smaller. Throw this down here. Boom. Perfect. All fixed. Now, the next thing you want to do is the actual game interface as well as the chat box. So let's go and grab the chat box again. And I like to put this kind of right here on, on kind of like around this area or even center. Uh, it just depends on my mood, honestly. <laughs> but either here or right above here is perfectly fine. Now, there's one other setting I want to do. But for now, let's finish doing the actual interface and then we'll go from there. So we'll go back to edit layout mode. Um, Go to advanced options, and then we're going to scroll down to the game view option right here, which is this one. Now, this is where things get interesting. Now, 
the first thing you're going to notice is that this is going to be a bitch to try to adjust. So I first thing I like to do is actually make it small like this because this is the easiest way to grab it. And then from here, grab it from the corner and make it super small. Now you're going to drag it over to this corner over here into the top left corner and then grab the corner here and throw this back over to here and we will be all good. So there you go. And now we have this, oops, sorry. Now we have the mini game thing. And then from here, the game interface is now here and nowhere else. So that's good. Now we also have this mini game HUD thing. We can kind of like move and adjust as we please. Uh, I don't really mess with this too much. I'll just keep it like this for now. And there you go. We have the game view window and we'll save this exactly how we want it to be. And I believe it automatically puts the transparency all the way up. So we'll just go here, go back to appearances and we'll throw this down over to here. Oh, it doesn't. So you can mess with this one. If you want it to be black, you can actually have it super transparent. If you want it to actually have the regular RuneScape background, you can do that. And then there we go. That's the interface all set up pretty, pretty easily. Now, the one other thing I want to actually do is let's go over here into the settings. And when it comes to my action bars, this is something I like to do. So let me go and actually figure out what I'm talking about first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what I like to do is go to gameplay, combat and a combat and action bar and then come down to action bar binding this is one of the coolest features um in my thing so this is action bar binding when you switch weapons it'll switch to a specific bar so i really like to take advantage of this and we might be able to utilize this if i have anything in my bank so personally i have things as um the first one being any melee oops sorry any melee style main action bar um and then action bar preset is going to be action bar one. So what this does is if I were to equip a melee weapon, it would take this main action bar right here, switch it to action bar one, and then it'll use that action bar. So this means action bars one, and then it subsequently each one will, will then match the weapon cell. So then for the next one, I have it as ranged, main action bar, action bar two. And I do this from here for the each three combat cells. Now, what you really should do is you should have it like melee dual, uh, dual wield, then go back to melee two H, and then do ranged dual wield, uh, action bar three, and then ranged two H, action bar four, and then magic dual wield, action bar five, and then finally magic two H, action bar six and you have basically the perfect amount of action bars by default with nothing extra to have all th um three combat styles and two of their forms you're usually using all six of your combat bars this is what you should do by default in my opinion but i'm way lazy and i just have any range style any melee style and any mage style and then when things are all done, you can just go and press the lock button on your keyboard, which is default to L. You can lock it and enjoy your beautiful interface and all its glory. Now, I do want to show you guys the actual bar thing here real quick. So let me go and grab myself a weapon, uh, hopefully real quick, of each style. All right, to show off the ability bar, I just got some basic weapons super quick that I can think of and to show off them. Now, I didn't wasn't able to get a offhand range and main hand uh, range weapon. Uh, I could go with the Grand Exchange, but I just don't feel like going all the way there just to show off an example. So I got 2H and uh, main hand and off hand for all the other styles. So anyway, showing off magic, we put our staff on. You'll see it automatically switch to a 2H, so that's pretty good. If we equip the wand and book, it'll automatically switch to dual wield. Put on our bow, we'll automatically switch to the bow. And if we switch to dual melee, we'll switch to dual melee. And then if we equip a 2H, we again switch to 2h so there you go that's pretty good i hope you guys enjoyed and that's that now one thing i want to say before the end of this video is i am actually thinking about playing this account this is my uh this is actually account me and my brother shared a long long time ago and i was I'm thinking about picking it up and actually playing it um it's a 16 year old account the only reason i have it is simply because it already has some stats and quests but honestly not a lot but i do think it'd be a cool main to actually play if you have an opinion, let me know. Otherwise, for now, I'll just keep it on the back of my head and come back to it later. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.